Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We're leaving tonight. Still getting jobs are getting done. Yep, we got no stern light. We had no stern light. We do now, right? Feeling pretty confident. We've had probably an hour run the other day since we've owned the boat, so. <laughs> Super confident. Yeah. Um, what would you like? More, more time? Oh, look, look, another month would be real nice just to have a test sail and, you know. But anyway, that's not happening. As long as we got lights so people can see us on the way down. Uh, we don't have radar, we don't have AIS, so they're two things I would like to have had, but at some stage, <laughs> we'll get those. One day. So, we have the spread of lights working, so we light up like a Christmas tree if someone gets close to us. But uh, we get the stern light so no one runs up our bum in the middle of the night, and uh, we have a tri light, so we should be right for lights. We should probably get an air horn too. Yeah, we got an air horn. Got our 14 person life raft at the back here. Oh, yeah. Alright, why is going in? We'll have lights, which is good news because we are leaving in the middle of the night, so. Oh, the phone is ringing. It's hectic today. Tonight we are sailing to Mexico. We're about to leave, well, we're gonna leave in a couple of hours, but um, about midnight. I just had my last long hot shower at the marina. Not that, I mean, we're gonna be in a marina anyway, but it was very nice. And um, we've really enjoyed our time in San Diego. There's a the captain, he's doing all the lines, getting sorted. How are you feeling, captain? A bit nervous. He's nervous. <laughs> he's real nervous, everybody. Let's be honest, we're all nervous. We're gonna get out of this marina again and it's dark. <laughs> we have a bloody great captain. We have been running around. We've had a car. Thank you, Brian and Angela. The car has been so great to have. Um, I wish we utilized it more by sightseeing and seeing other things, but we didn't get a chance. Um, but we're so grateful. Thank you guys. And thank you for so much other things as well. You guys have been a massive help. And uh, we just ran around and had a, got a few things. One of those things was um, some life jackets because we didn't have any. So we're about to sail to another country without lime jackets. Not real smart, don't do that. But we forgot. Um, we left our wet weather gear in Australia, stupidly. And now we're really regretting that. But it was super expensive to ship it over. So um, it was expensive to bring it in the luggage. It was expensive to ship it over. But what was more expensive is to buy it all again. So we should have brought it with us. Lesson learned, if you're gonna buy a boat, don't leave your wet weather gear behind. Other than that, we're good. It's cold. We're going to layer up and put all our clothes on. And um, we're not really looking forward to it. I don't like night sailing, to be honest. And we're all a little bit nervous. Bella's not nervous. She's super relaxed. <laughs> She's just chilling like a villain. <laughs> good news, everyone. You can't see the ink light, but it is on. It's working, Robert. It sure is. <laughs> We have all our navigation lights working. You know why? Because of this man right here. What a legend. He's a legend in his own lunchbox. It's a granddad joke. <laughs> That's a granddad joke right there. Anyway, good news, so because we are heading off in the night, we wanted to make sure that our lights are working, and they are. Lee has been working hard getting them going again. There was a lot of funny wires and people, they had wire in the wrong spot. There's a lot of weird shit going on, but um, we're good. We've got lights, spreader lights, navigation lights. Lost for words. It's because it's been so busy all day. <laughs> 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 we're, about to, we're about to set sail, what's the time? Must be getting half past, I reckon. It's, uh, it's really quarter to 12, oh. so. Quarter to 12. Yeah, yeah. Quarter to 12, and we're just about to <laughs> head south and... <laughs> Brian's kindly brought some champagne. All right. We're yes, it's to... uh, Mum from Napa, California. Champagne that we can we can share and 
uh, it's been a, a fun time the last what three or four weeks uh, I guess that uh, I've been helping the helping you guys get ready so it's been an honor and uh, I really enjoyed everybody's uh, company and your friendship and uh, and the great cooking and taking care of us so thank well, you so much well we appreciate you thank yeah. you so let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's pop this let's open pop it. there we go uh, uh, all right in our champagne flutes <laughs> that's right we, so, so there's uh improvised like wide angle lens that's all <laughs> yeah to uh a new adventure yeah new, new adventure new, new beginning and uh lots of great uh boat maintenance videos <laughs> no oh, we don't want <laughs> to adventure honey adventure, adventure. <laughs> about the front of the boat for this one uh i think it's too cold can we be here okay <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. This boat's name is now Catalpa 2. Woo! <laughs> Good job, babe. Fit to Neptune. Yep. All right. And safe sails. Down south we go. It's Catalpa 2. Cheers, Catalpa 2. All right. May she. Uh, Get us safely. Create a, next a, a safe home for you and, and take you wherever you want to go. Yes. As far as you want to go. For as long as you want to go. Okay. We have stowed away most things. Hopefully. It's not too rough, but we think Catalpa is pretty good. Before we go sailing, we always put everything loosely away. Loosely there away? Is. There oh, is. well. Good luck. We've enjoyed our stay in the States here. It's time to go to Mexico. We've had an amazing, an absolutely amazing network of people help us from random people to our patrons to everybody that's made this possible. And 100% wouldn't have been possible without the community. Thank you to everybody that's uh, put us in this spot to where we're heading to Mexico. Doing the install uh, that we've done with all the lithium and that, I've pretty much just been on the tools. And having uh, an electrical engineer has been amazing. He's been so helpful. Brian and Angela are itching to go cruising. Yeah, we can't wait to see them out there. Thank you guys for Thank everything. Thank you guys for all the help. All these beautiful names on here have especially helped us as well get off the dock. With gratitude yeah. for what we've achieved at this stage. We still have a long way to go, but hey, we've hit the first target and we're off the dock. She was an old girl that needed a lot of work and a lot of love. A lot of love, and she's had a little bit so far and she's come a long way. So, still a long way to go, but yes. Can we also just go and have some fun? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be nice. And go and see stuff and have some adventures. We've been here for nearly six months now and we've had we've had a really great time. We've met some incredible people and we are just super, super thankful and grateful for everybody that has just helped with this journey so far. And we're excited for the next adventures and um, yeah, we're about to untie the lines from this dock for good. It's a big passage ahead, guys. We've got to think <laughs> about 60 miles. We're super nervous. We are. With the rigging. We actually really are. We <laughs> We've really spent more time down here and in the engine and with pumps and plumbing and blah, blah, blah. You know what we've been doing, but mosey on down and... Hopefully the seas are calm and the wind is lovely and there's some moon. Yeah, well, we've got That's a bit of That's all I'm asking for. We've got, we got about a half a moon. We're going to go and seriously untie these lines. Yeah. We'll see if the motor starts. If the motor starts, we'll go. Otherwise... Otherwise what? Uh, immigration is going to come and take us. Otherwise we're going to get deported. We're going right. to go. We're, it is time to go. I just want to give you a little update on checking out of the USA. Um, super easy. Super easy unless you buy a boat and you change the flag. Um, you might have a little bit of a hiccup. We're going to put a link down below to somebody that can help you out if you ever are in a situation where you go to um, leave the country. Um, you need to export your boat. If you buy a boat in the United States, it's United States flagged before you change it. Then you will have to export too. it. Was it built that had oh, it? Oh, built. Yeah. 
Anyway, and if you come into a problem as you check, as you're clearing out, you need an ITN number. If that is the case, we have a guy that can get you one. You just have to pay someone and... Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. Long story short, Sarah called like half of uh, California here trying to find someone for this. What is it? ITM? I was losing and my mind. We found one guy and he said, yeah, not many people know how to do this yeah. or like to do it. There was a fair bit of work involved in it. And we spoke to brokers that are selling boats every day and they big brokers. They had no idea. Yeah. So thank you to everybody who tried to help me with that yeah. as well. Um, I had a very, very stressful day the day before we checked out. It was horrible, but the checking out process itself was super easy. Oh. You don't even go to immigration. It's like five anything. minutes. So we're a bit nervous to enter back in because we're on ESTA visas, which means uh, we have to leave after 90 days. It's 90 days today and they didn't stamp us out of the country. So when we apply for another visa, they're not going to actually know that we ever left. So we got to make sure when we go to Mexico, the guy in customs says, make sure you get a stamp on he your passport. He says five times. He said, make sure they stamp it. Yeah, because otherwise we're going to have problems. Yeah. So that's another tip. We'll let you know how we go when we get to Mexico. But as far as sailing to Mexico, we were told to get a tip, a TIP. Um, again, we haven't, but we, uh, the marina that we're going to said they can help us with that. But we're going to let you know how easy it is to actually sail to Mexico, check into Mexico, and um, all the process. I'm gonna, I got, I gotta go. My arm's really right. sore. <laughs> Headlamp's going on. <laughs> Holding the camera. Headlamp. Oh, it's getting serious. It's serious here. We're about to put this on for five minutes and hand it over to the kids and go to bed. Yeah, right. Oh yeah. Christmas trees velcroed down. Yeah. So for all of those non-sailors, when you look in the boat, and this boat's been stable for a long time, you start to gather things on the bench. This is our little, we finally got a Christmas tree. Look, oh, it's so cute. But if we just sat it there, it would go flying, but we have Velcroed it. I'm not gonna lift up because I don't want the Velcro to unstuck, but it's Velcroed to the bench. The tissue box might go flying, but the Christmas tree, is locked down. So we have some hats. We're getting into the spirit of Christmas. It's the 1st of December. The kids are all ready. Taj has secured all his stuff down below. There he is. Bella's already in movie mode. <laughs> you got your room secure? Put that guitar up there, baby. My room always falls apart. Alright, let's get this, let's get on. Everyone, all hands all right. on deck. Okay, Captain's spoken, let's get out of here. On board, about to untie the lines. The power. Say goodbye to San Diego. Make sure you get on the boat, baby. <laughs> on. Can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. see us but uh, we're so cold <laughs> I've got like six layers on <laughs> Lee's got two jackets beanies I got two pairs of pants <laughs> now <They're> uggies <laughs> it's so cold it's so cold we are motoring along there's not much wind is there there's any wind really it's whatever wind it is there's icy but it's not a lot <laughs> we're going about five and a half knots 
And we've probably got 55 nautical miles to go. All right, so we're just motoring along and the motor started making a funny noise and it's cut out. Uh, he's in the engine bay. I'm just making sure we're not gonna run into anything. And um, yeah, I did hear some swear words. I'm not sure what's going on yet.